Hey guys, welcome to part three of the Walsingham Files, chapter one. So, let's just get into it. I did play around a little bit, just to see what the next step was, because I was stuck, and I was, I was stuck pretty good. So we're gonna go up here first, and it's this computer right here. So, this is the Principal Santos computer. We needed a four digit pin. So. If you remember when she was talking to us, she said she was gonna go meet her boyfriend because her birthday was tomorrow. Well, the in-game date is 10-26, I believe it's 2018. So if you enter in 10-27, you'll get into this computer. That took me a long, long time to figure out. So now we can see the school records, so we've got some school records here, but we don't know his password. It's the insert OTP to access. Incorrect pin. What is an OTP? It's one time pin. It is a code that is generated in another location set privately to the account owner. Okay, we need to get to her cell phone, so we're going to have to talk to her at some point. But we can go through email, so we got Sergeant Nunez is telling him I'm going to be on the way and to make sure I show her my badge. And then we got one from James, James O'Hare. He is the uh, maintenance worker custodian. So I have to leave my office early. So there's an accident. It would be hilarious, but, but there's a big dental bill. Can you borrow a key? There is the code for his office. So I wrote that down. And then we've got another one, Faulkner, no, I mean Peter Faulkner, had to check something important, borrow the key to 2008 from Jim. There is very little security at this school for just handing out keys to everybody, but anyways. So Peter, Pete is stringing at the fire station tomorrow, so we're going to go down here and get to the custodian's office. So let's enter in 9, 7, 8, 6, 2, 1. Okay, and we have fish sticks again. So maybe it's the janitor or the custodian. Locked. Locked. We got a computer here that we. Four digit pin that I have no idea what that is. Inside the dice, oh, it's a key. I think it'll be useful. So we got a key. And that key. Goes not to this door. Or that door, but it goes to this door, which is the records room. And all of these are locked. So we need to get this key. So let's go over to Pete. Pete is at the fire station, so let us go there. Recently when you go, he just says who he is and that he's too busy to come down. So now that we know who he is, let's head on over. I mean, I was trying everything for that combination for that, that computer. I had no idea. I did change the options. <clears throat> so always sprint is on basically. Alright, so let's go here. Hi, I'm Detective Sarah. You, you're Pete, right? Uh, yes I am. How did you know that? I'm a Detective Pete. It's very impressive, Sarah. So, is there something I can do for you? One of the school records. I need the key to the cabinet with a 2008 file in it. Oh sure, I'll come down and give it to you. Why do random people have these files? Here's the key. Thanks. Sorry. But a fireman would be very good with an axe, too. Maybe this guy did it. Oh, okay. He's, that way I'd be more comfortable and I can be agile and ready when there is a fire. That's pretty smart. Anyway, thanks for the key. No problem. Have a great day, detective. There's nothing here yet, so now we can get into that. Student record file. I don't think we can get in here yet. City Hall. Family's Patriot. 
Trailer, yep, yeah, popped up. I know it pretty well, popped up, popped up. Okay. Count uh, the public vacation today. It's sure be useful to get their uh, records. I think it would. Okay, let's go back down to the school. And we are ready to open up 2008 records. That's a couple years after I graduated, but anyways. Here we go. Still can't get into any of the classrooms. And this is weird. This is the only one that does it. It is. It doesn't expire until 2020. I feel like that's going to be an important date. Because this one doesn't do it. Alright, let's go to 2008. We sure do. Let's see what we can find here. So we've got all these people. So, I'm going to go with... There are fish sticks everywhere, so maybe ignore everybody who has selfish allergies. Okay, so we've got blood type, date of birth, and name. Oh, that went too fast there. I just don't... And from here, this is where I am now stuck. So I've got a list of names. The only thing I can possibly think of is that one of these names lined up with somebody at the storage facility, which it does not, because <clears throat> I've checked that. So at that point, I've got... I found it. I couldn't believe what a fisherman was saying. Um, but it turns out to take a look inside my storage unit. The code is Lexi's birth. Oh, here we go. The code is Lexi's birthday. Is Lexi up here? Lexi. Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. Does not. Freshman, sophomore, Lexi, Lexi, Lexi. Ooh, there it is. Lexi's birthday. Okay. Now, the key is to find a pen so I can write this down. Okay, here we go. Oh, one, ten. Beautiful. Alright, so who was that, though? Brigham Smith. Brigham Smith International. Well, oh, is that is that it? Is there another on the page? Okay, so I gotta get into that storage unit. There, I just figure that out here. Oh, one ten. Oh, I gotta go this way. All right. All the way to the storage units. That's all, all up here. Keep going up. Take a right. We'll stay in the crosswalk. Because I'm a detective and I follow the rules. Okay, here we go. Up to storage. Here we go. Now we have to figure out who is it one more time. Brigham Smith note. Okay, Brigham Smith. All right, so Franklin C is my guess. Guys, that's Keith Jacob Smith. Let's look here. Is there another Smith? Bakery, LTD, do ba da ba da ba da no. Bringham, John Bringham, Pendleton B. Okay, so we've got two of them. We have a Smith and a Bringham, so here we go. Let's go to Pendle, Pendleton, Pendleton B. 
Oh, no, that's not where I wanted to go. I don't know what the names are. No. Yes, B. Okay, let's do 0110. Days on that list. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try 1992. That was the year. Okay. Let's try it up in this other building. Uh, not that one. Dates could it be? Lexi Burke Quick 01 10 1992. And that's what it says. Bring him Smith now. Alright, we have Brigham Smith. Is there another Brigham Smith? I'm just looking through. Brigham Smith. And there's not. Hmm. Brigham Smith International LTD. I found it. I couldn't believe it. Turns out, take a look inside my storage unit. There's nobody else here with that name. Unless. No. So I tried that Smith there. Yeah, not. We have a bakery there. Smithfield? No. No, not that. Brigham. See, that's the only one. Brigham Smith. But maybe that was wrong. So who gave me that? Who gave me that letter, I guess? Sanjay? Not Sanjay. I don't remember that. Mm. Nothing on here. Alright, so I'm gonna have to do some looking and checking around. Morris? No. Mm, Arena? Juarez? No. Bring it. No. Okay, bring him Smith now. It has to be the Pendleton B one. B. It's gotta be B. It's gotta be the Pendleton B. Okay, 1992. No. Okay, we got one zero ninety two. Oh, one ninety two. Zero. One. 
zero, zero, one. Okay, well, I am really stuck here. So if anybody's got any clues or, or tips, let me know if I'm missing something. I, I don't I don't think I'm missing anything. I got her birthday from the school register, which is the only Lexi in the list. There's no other person with a Smith or Brigham last name. And this seems to be the only one, unless it's the Smith one in the I just don't think so. That doesn't make much sense to me that it would be this one. I guess I can try all the ones in here. 92, not crack. Let's do 0, 1, 92. Let's do 0, 1, 0, 92. 0, then do 0, 1. Do 0, 1, 1, 0. Nothing. So this is where I'm going to call. I know it's a shorter episode, but. I just want to let you guys know we, we did get some process and some codes figured out. So I will continue to uh, look at this one. So if you guys have any tips, just leave a comment below. Please like and subscribe. And I will uh, see you in the next one. Hey everybody again. This is going to be a weird cut, but I was going to make another video. But there's actually not that much left of this. Is it? I figured it out. And it is up here. We go into this room, penultimate building, and sadly, I could not figure this out to save me, so I just went through and tried everybody's birthday on the class list, and I got to this guy on 1209. Access granted. And we've got fish sticks in here. Let's read our note here. There's a handwritten note. What does it say? John, this is all I could get out of the Whale Island. I'm afraid I could only get small excerpts without raising any eyebrows at HQ. I've been trying to track down this Lieutenant McAdams, but I can't seem to find any records of him at the Henry Leach building. I'll ask one of my contacts from legal to see if she knows anything about him. Keep your wits about you. They're always watching. All right. And now, let's go through and listen. If you don't bloody believe me, then why don't you ask Dr. Lieberman what he saw that night? His laboratory had the best view, after the bridge, and God knows he spent all his time there. Surely a statement from such a renowned scientist can finally put your suspicions to rest. Well, that's the thing, isn't it, Commander? I wish I could ask Dr. Lieberman what he saw that night, but unfortunately, Scotland Yard found him dead in his apartment this morning. Oh? Friedrich is dead? I, yes. Hmm. Lieutenant, let me ask you a little question. Uh, are you married? Do you have kids? Sir, I don't think we have time for this. Just answer the bloody question. Yes. Yes, I have a wife and a son. He was born a little less than a year ago. Do you love him? Obviously I do. Then walk away from this now. You don't want to go any deeper. You don't want any part of this. But I want to know the truth. I need to know the truth. Fine. I'll tell you what we saw that night. But don't come crying to me later when things turn south for you. Okay? All right, so that was number one. I'm not sure why we're listening to Scottish people talk, but we are. Let's go to two. Commander, play. do you know who this man is? He looks vaguely familiar, but I couldn't put a name to him. Is that so? Then why is it that we are in possession of photos of you and him shaking hands at the General Dynamics Fair in Virginia? Oh? Do you have a photo of that, do you? Hey, right in this folder I have here. Would you also have a photo of the Loch Ness Monster? Or perhaps the Colonel's secret fried chicken recipe in there too? I think that's equally as likely. 
photo of Loch Ness. Mm -hmm. That would be good. All right, number three. I don't know what order these are supposed to be in. Where were you on October the 4th, 2016? Um, I believe that at the time I was in command of the HMS Sunderland. Let's see, early October. Yes, I think we were stationed just off the coast of Svalbard at the time, waiting for those Cambridge eggheads to finish getting their results. And you're 100% sure of this? Well, of course not. That was two bloody years ago, Lieutenant. If you'd let me go and look at my logs, then I could even tell you what I had for tea that day. Well, I've got something even better than that, Commander. I've got the records for radio communications between the HMS Sunderland and the Royal Navy base at Scapa Flow, and according to those records, the radio signals from the HMS Sunderland were not coming in from Svalbard on the 4th of October 2016. <sighs> then where were they coming from? Our records place you and the HMS Sunderland smack in the middle of the Barren Sea, 300 nautical miles north of Murmansk. What the hell were you doing up there, sir? Think about it, Lieutenant. Don't you think a ship of the size of the Sunderland would have been spotted so close to Russia? If we'd really been there, surely it would have merited a phone call from the Russian ambassador to 10 Downing Street. Aye, he would have. But he didn't call, did he? No, he didn't. But you already knew that, didn't you? Alright, let's go to number four. There's a tape inside the cassette player. Let's play. Can I ask you a question, Lieutenant? Might make for an interesting change of pace, I suppose. Go ahead, sir. How is it that you're the one in charge of all this? What's that supposed to mean? I mean, no, no offense, but... You do seem a bit green for all this. If the MOD is making such a big fuss, shouldn't they at least put someone of my rank to interrogate me? What makes you think someone of your rank isn't running this show? The way you've been playing fast and loose with elements of the interrogation. If someone else was in charge, then you'd be doing this by the numbers. I really shouldn't tell you this, but this one goes all the way up. Is that so? Pray tell which admiral is after my blood. I shouldn't say, sir. Indulge me. <clears throat> it's Hamilton. All right, Hamilton is after me. Or that person, not me. Okay, there's a tape inside. A tape. Look, let's do it. Can't deny any more, Commander. Just tell me the bloody truth. What is it you're so desperate to hear, Lieutenant? I want to know what really happened up there. The HMS Sunderland had 111 other souls on board. Why don't you ask one of them? I have. Most of the crew were below deck when it supposedly happened. The only ones who would have seen it would have been the officers on the bridge that night. And according to the ship's logs, that was just you and Lieutenant Commander Sanders. And what has Christina told you? She insists the ship was in Svalbard that night. There you go. I have another question, sir. It seems you have an endless supply of them. Why is it that you, the ship's commanding officer, and Lieutenant Commander Saunders, the second in command, were on the same watch? Last I checked, that's against naval protocol. Alright, that's everything up here. We should give this place a proper inspection before I leave. Oh. Bed? Oh, why is there a bed here? Whoever owns this unit clearly planned to spend a long time. I think that's it. Man, what do you make of all this? Well, I have no idea what a murder Jewish guy in Massachusetts Nature Reserve has to do with an interrogation of a British naval officer, but someone is definitely trying to hide something. What's our next step? Not really sure. I think I might have to hand this one over to Interpol, but I'll pass it through Captain Visconti first. Let's get out of here. The... Think thick concrete is blocking my mobile signal. Uh oh. Captain Visconti, boy, are you a side for side? Detective Fitzgerald, you are under arrest. What? Anything you say or do will be held against you in. What are you on about, Michelle? You know what you did, Sarah. I always picked you as one of the good ones. I never thought you would turn. Turn, what is going on here? Cover. And that's the end of chapter one. 
So we will pick this one up when Chapter 2 gets uh, released. But thanks guys for watching. Hopefully this helped you if you were uh, stuck on anything because this was uh, quite the puzzle. So I, I did really enjoy the game. So thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.